We've seen some guys get caught up in some of the incidents happening around them. And most have still continued on. Denny Hamlin handling problems earlier. Strategy adjustments, track position. Hamlin's now just giving up fifth position there to Casey Kane. And don't count this five car out of this race yet. He has struggled for a big portion of this race. But I've seen him recently have the, this car going in the right direction. That's moving forward. We'll see what their fuel mileage is like. And one of the other big ones, Greg Biffle, who ran so well, had a hard crash a little while earlier. He's taken his car to the garage. We check the top. Yeah, Denny Hamlin, guys, last pitted on lap 137. Now, that means uh, if you do any fuel calculations, they got to be getting very, very close. They cannot make it on one more stop, which means uh, what they're trying to do now is go as long as they can go, absolutely to the final lap of a drop of fuel, then come in and pit and hope they get some yellow flags and maybe milk one. They're going to have to pit probably get a handful of laps, guys. Yeah, I was just uh, using my calculator trying to figure out how far they could go. They would have to go 75 laps in this stint, uh, even though we've had a lot of caution flags to make it, and they, I'm sure they can't do that. And I think Mark Martin's in the exact same boat. Mark Martin leading the race at the moment in the check of the championship picture as they run now. But again, we've got just over 100 miles to go in this race. We're just getting to the three-quarter mark. 12 caution flags. And the story on Mark Martin, the same one we were just talking about with Denny Hamlin. Yeah, that's, uh, that's you see that would be 130 laps to the end of the race. If you split that up and be 65, nobody can do that. So you, you say, okay, they can probably go about 55 laps. That means they would have to go 75 in this segment. Okay, then why haven't they pitted? We've had ample caution opportunities for them to get to pit road. I can't answer that. Maybe you can, Jamie. Well, they're not in the chase, so they're going for it. They're trying to risk everything right now. And Mark just came on the radio and said, guys, I can't shut it off anymore. He's been saving as well as he can. But the guys right now on pit road down here in his pit box putting their helmets on, getting ready. There have been five yellow flags since Mark Martin came to pit road. He got the lead by staying out on one of them back at lap 157. And he's been out in front since. Five yellow flags since then. And they haven't come to the pit lane. And he'd have to run about 11 or 12 more laps before he makes his green flag stop to have a chance of making it to the end. I don't think he can do it. Well, right Mark, now, Mar uh, looks like Paul Menard's catching him pretty quickly, though. When Mark does pit, another lead change. And we take an inside look and get unlimited access to the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Brought to you by the NASCAR Sprint Cup mobile app and truly unlimited data on the Sprint Network. 13 lead changes so far today. Not a lot, but we've had a lot of action. If not the constant changing of the number one spot, get unlimited access to NASCAR with live in-car audio and real-time stats on the NASCAR Sprint Cup mobile app only from Sprint. Get the app and Sprint's truly unlimited data plan at Sprint.com slash speed. So that 45 to 50 lap fuel window we showed you there a minute ago, there have been 23 laps of yellow since Mark Martin pitted. So that's essentially... 50 laps if you go to the old two to one formula which may even be sh selling them short the way these guys shut the cars off and so on these days yeah about two to one is what you can expect even saving as much as you can shutting the car off so that'd give you another what 12 laps onto that yep. still gonna make it awfully tough they'd almost have to make up 20 laps of that i just don't think they can do it at least the 55 of mark martin and 11 of denny hamlin hearing from pit road that denny hamlin is six laps from pitting And the other aspect on that is, as we see Hamlin come by here racing Regan Smith for sixth and seventh, with the frequency of yellow flags today, it's unlikely to expect this race to run green from here to the finish, right? That's what I'm thinking. I just don't know how we can do that. We haven't seen it happen, and especially we've had a couple tire issues. We haven't seen a long run since we saw the last one. Uh, so I'm not sure what we'll see here as far as green flag and what you can expect. That's why you're seeing Denny Hamlin and Mark Martin go as far as they can here, hoping to get another caution. And on a day where it's been overcast for much of the day, all of a sudden the sun's starting to pop out here in uh, Kansas City, Kansas. That'll change the handling conditions also. Yeah, like they needed something else to <laughs> get in their head or under their tires. Yeah. 
So there are your top five, six, seven, and eight. With 62 laps to go. And we look down on the race leader, Mark Martin, from our aerial coverage provided by Goodyear. From pit lane to victory lane, every driver counts on Goodyear tires. Goodyear, the official tire of NASCAR. Mark Martin, Paul Menard, Clint Boyer, your top three. Expecting to see this 55 car on the pit lane sometime within the next handful of laps. Is there any way he can make five more? He could possibly make it to the end. You know, it's funny because watching Denny Hamlin, I'm curious how much of his lap time here is lack of performance in the car and how much he might be backing off, saving him some fuel. Now, they, I'm sure they're looking at this and. They could just possibly stretch this. I don't, I'll tell you, I'll be surprised if they can, but I've seen some stranger things this year. As the hand out the window. Signaling the drivers behind him. So look for Denny Hamlin to slow right here. Woo. Mark Truex almost didn't see that. Yeah. 59 laps to go, Doc. Denny Hamlin has gone 71 laps. So you heard all those caution laps Alan was talking about. He'll have to go 58 from here on out. 58 and a half laps. But they think they can do it with very few caution laps. Because Denny does such a great job saving fuel. Four tires, weight, weight, weight on fuel. He got his full. He's out of the way. Now he'll try to roll the dice and make it all the way to the checkered flag. See, so, Mark Martin's still out there. He pitted the same time that Denny Hamlin did. We, we saw this team with Clint Boyer win a race last week on fuel, honestly. We know they get good mileage. Jamie, when are we going to see Mark Martin? And they have the wheel man behind the wheel who saved a lot of fuel. Now, the guys have had their helmets on for a while. Rodney Childers' crew chief just said four laps. That was about Go. So look for him to make his way down shortly. All right. So what you're telling me, it doesn't matter if we have three cautions in a race or if we have double-digit cautions, it still comes down to fuel mileage in these races. <laughs> and I'll tell you, if Mark Martin can make it back around to his pit stop, I think he can make it from here on that on that pit stop. So we'll see. Casey Kane by Clint Boyer for third position, Vince. Since the first two pit stops, when they had to make chassis adjustments on that car because it kept banging on the splitter, they have not touched the chassis on this five car. It has just gotten better and better. Casey says it's a little loose on takeoff, but once this thing gets going, it's been a rocket. They can make it on just one more stop, as most of these others can. As you see, Mark Martin has hit pit road. Jamie Little? And they decided to bring him down a little bit early. It's going to be four tires. Rodney Childers asked his driver, do you want scuffs or stickers? It looks like they have stickers on the wall they're going to go with. It's going to be nice and smooth. See what he can make out of this race from here on out. Very important not to get busted for speeding on Kid Road on the exit. Okay, thank you, Will. Go, 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 go. All the way, all the way. Trouble, turn four. Car hard in the wall. Eric Almarola. Yeah, up there, bud. Let's go ahead and stop. Looks like the fire's out. Go ahead and get out. Go ahead and get out. Just Caution take a look out. The car. Just after Denny Hamlin and Mark Martin pit. This is one of the cars that hit the wall earlier with a right front tire. I don't know what happened here. He looks like he's done now, though. And he's running 13th at the time. And boy, what a day.
Oh. Well, there's just there's some bad feelings as a driver in a in a race car, but not much worse than that. Throttle hanging and blowing a right front tire when you're wide open in the throttle doesn't get much worse. Really good to see this young man out of the car. Just unfortunate. What a fast race car he had all day. Yeah, you see, getting the wind of that down while he's got some fire. He's reacting pretty quickly to that fire in the hood. Just to be ready to get out. Al Marola has led the most laps today. He had a right front down and got into the wall while leading back at lap 122. He spun out racing Mark Martin for the lead. A spin that didn't bring a caution flag out. And now this after getting back onto the lead lap and a hard crash. The pit road is closed. They are bringing the field down the pit lane to allow the safety workers to clean up the big mess that the crash is left in turn four with all the liquid running down from the machine where it came to rest. And so no one supposed to stop in their pit box as they come down the pit lane here. And now really this takes fuel to the finish out of the question for everybody with the timing of this caution flag. Yeah most everybody go from here and you saw those two cars have pitted under green. They're going to be a lap down they'll be able to take a wave around when all the cars pit and it should help them on their issues if they were close enough uh, they should be able to get their fuel their biggest problem is having to come from so far back now Mark Martin is going to get the free pass on the caution as the first car a lap down Denny Hamlin the second car a lap down will have to take the wave around so that means that Hamlin can't pit under this yellow And the new Kansas Speedway has set a record for most cautions at this track and most cautions this season. We have just equaled the mark. It has been a, a tough, tough day for a lot of these drivers and teams. Like that one. That was a fast car today, though. Even after he hit the wall the first time, he was up front going for the lead. At one point. Well. For. All of these drivers and teams. Anytime you go to a newly surfaced racetrack speeds will be up and it'll be dicey. On grip and we have seen as is not uncommon at new racetracks sometimes some problems at that right front. Fortunately, everyone is okay. All of the drivers involved in those incidents, and Dave Burns has more from the pit lane. Well, and I checked with Goodyear. Uh, a couple comments first. Rusty pointed out earlier the, the greasy conditions. We talked to Kyle after his wreck. Extremely slick out there. And so I checked with Goodyear just to see if there was any pattern they were seeing with their tires. At this point, no. They're seeing a lot of cuts in the tires, regardless of which accident, what time, what caution. Lots of cut, lots of cuts in the tires. So a lot of debris out there. Guys running over a lot of stuff. And so far, that's the only pattern that they're seeing. Vince.